in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a simple t-shirt design using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is cjam and here we are already in photoshop and what we're going to be doing today is recreating my own t-shirt designs that i have on my t-shirts that i have in my store now this video is sponsored by my store obviously learnsharemerge.com where you can get graphic designer t-shirts like the one that we're going to be designing today as well as video creator t-shirts as well as christian creative t-shirts you can check out my store using the link in this video's description now somebody left a comment on one of my videos and asked me if i had done a tutorial on how i designed my own designs and i said no but it's a great idea for a tutorial so here we are now the first thing i did was create the template for the t-shirt that i want to design meaning the size i normally use the largest size possible that way when it's shrunken down on a t-shirt it fits perfectly right so what i did was i went to file over here and then i made a new template and i just did 11 inches well 17 inches by 11 inches with 300 dpi and i just created i just hit create right and that's how we arrived at this point and my graphic designer t-shirt looks like this now the first thing i did for this design obviously was just hit u for my shape tool to draw out my rectangle right um then i'm just gonna go ahead and round up the edges by clicking one of these corners right here and it will do the edges nice and round for me like so you can change the color if you want to any color that matches your brand for the purposes of the tutorial that i want to do today the design that i used was red you know i call it the red block t the graphic designer red block t and let me just um align this to the center of my template like so right and then what i did next was type the text obviously graphic designer so i'm gonna hit t on my keyboard let me just type graphic designer it's not gonna be this small obviously <laughs> um let me change this font to um let's do argentum let's do argentum black let's drag it down like so let me change the color first and foremost to white there we are and what i'm going to be doing next is just upping the size i believe i actually used monster art for that last design but i mean they're almost the same thing right this is all i'm doing i'm just aligning it right now it's aligned to the left let me just click the paragraph setting here to align to the center let's bring it bring it back over and then i'm going to make it all caps by hitting this all caps button here over my type options if you're not seeing your options like this over here under your properties tab or if you don't have your properties tab any at all all you have to do is go to window and then properties like so right the next thing i want to do is i want to bring the graphic and the designer closer together so what i'm going to be doing is just well i didn't have to click on it i can just come over here to my leading and just i can just cycle through the values here if i wanted to see that and as i cycle through these values the words are coming closer together right um something kind of similar to the supreme you know supreme that brand but supreme doesn't have like rounded edges supreme has like sharp square edges right and what i'm going to be doing is just narrowing the height of this red block because it's way too high let me just click on it Control and T for my transform options. What I'm going to be doing is holding Alt and Option if you're on Mac and Shift. And then I'm just going to drag down while holding Alt and Shift, Option and Shift, right? And let's keep it about there. And then let's align this again, like so. Now I can group them. Selecting both of them over here, hitting Control and G on my keyboard, Command G if you're on Mac. And let's just name it Graphic designer right and then i can maximize this to the full size of this template by hitting ctrl and t and then just rolling the percentages all the way up now that i have my transparent background i'm just going to go ahead and go to file and then save and let's name this lspv graphic designer t-shirt um design <laughs> tutorial and because I don't want to get it confused with the one that I actually have for the t-shirt itself, let me just save it here. And then as I mentioned to apply to your t-shirt on your t-shirt designing website, you just save a copy, you come back to file 
and then save a copy and from your drop down you're choosing png there you have it you click save all right let's do another one let's do my creative and more design let me go ahead and go to file and then new you can hit Control and end or command in if you want this design is more vertical um, versus landscape like the graphic designer t so let me just click this orientation button and photoshop will swap these dimensions for me then i'm just going to go ahead and click create so here we are blank canvas i'm going to hit u for my shape tool draw out a rectangle like so which is going to be my outline as you can see here with my creative and more t-shirt let's go ahead and just round up the corners like so let me turn off the fill let me add a stroke and let's just make it black let's add the stroke of like 30 no that's too small let's do 100 yes that's nice and thick let me align it to the center of my document here then i'm gonna hit t for my type tool right and then oops no i don't want it to type it within the shape let me turn that off let me type create you can do this two ways you can type the creative let me delete this you can type the creative within a bounding box, a text box, or you can type the text individually. Like you can, you can type the C, you can type the R individually and then align them, right? So let's do that method because that's a little bit more intricate rather than just using the text bounding box because we want everything perfectly aligned. Let me go ahead and hit C. I have the C right there. Control and J to duplicate that. Let's change it to R. Well, not R, R. <laughs> then let's do the E. Let me duplicate all of these, Control and J, and then draw it down like so. You can see it over here in my layers. And then I have A, right? T, I, and then what else do we have? Control and J again to duplicate. Those pink guides there, those digits right there, that says 266, it's telling me that they're all the same distance from one another, right? Then I'm gonna do V, E, and then plus creative and more right now what i can do is i can just align all of these letters here i can group the c the a and the v the r the t and the e and the e the i and the plus and then i can align them like distribute the the, the the centers if i wanted to horizontally right but let me just actually drag over the r let me find the r in my layers here let me drag over the r until i get the same distance or what i can do is I can select the C, the R, and the E, and then distribute the um, horizontal centers like so. Then all I have to do next is just align the T underneath the R in the center there. Do the same for the E, uh, like so. Control and S to save all that we're doing, to save our progress. And let's just name this one LSPV Creative and More, or Creative Plus um t-shirt design tutorial right then let's hit save there we are and if we wanted to we can make the plus as big as the e right so control and t for the plus let's just roll the percentage up a little bit like so we can do that or we can make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't control and z to undo command and z if you're on mac let me just move it up like so that looks fine and all i have to do now is just group all the letters select all of them hit ctrl and g just like we did before and let's just name it create let's name the group creative plus there we are now let's turn back on our rectangle let's move this down like into the center there it is in the center let's move it down and then let's hit ctrl and a t and just increase the size so it fills up the rectangle a little bit more right just like that and then let me just shrink down the height of the rectangle a little bit i'm holding alt on my keyboard option and mac and shift and i'm clicking and just dragging and then both sides will be sized down for me both edges on the top and the bottom and that's all i'm going to be doing for this design all i have to do now is just i can group both of them so they don't move and then hit ctrl and g and then name this um main main design anything you can think of you can design it yourself and all i have to do now is just go ahead and repeat the saving process that we did 
for the graphic designer red block design and there you are that's how you design your own t-shirt using adobe photoshop and then you have a host of t-shirt designing websites that you can pick choose and refuse from remember this video is brought to you by learnshiremerch.com be sure to visit my store to get some of my cool t-shirts that i have for us as creatives so have you ever designed a t-shirt using Adobe Photoshop before? Have you ever thought of an idea that you would like to see on a t-shirt? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this tutorial and you'd like to see more of my Photoshop design tutorials, click right up the screen to watch this video right now.